damage control. Due to all the wonderful support we've had from our subscribers and supporters from around the world, guys like Michael Nauman from Texas, uh, Robert Carlin, and uh, Paul Thomas from, from the United Kingdom, we've been able to do some amazing things with damage control. Oh man, Yamasaki. You know, I was just saying the other day on our uh, Damage Control Facebook page that I learned the Jeff Monson choke from Jeff Monson, the Mark Schultz front headlock from Mark Schultz, thanks to Damage Control, thanks to the support of our of, of the people that have been behind us on this project, we've gotten to do some really cool stuff. No doubt. Thank you guys so much. Keep up the great work. You can look forward to more Mark Schultz, uh, Billy Robinson, Eric Paulson, and much, much more on DamageControlMMA.com. All right, welcome to Damage Control. This is your Ultimate Combat Training Center bonus clip. Dave just pulled me aside and he said, hey, I did invent a move and I want somebody out there to prove me wrong. Dude, and he's he, gonna he show us. his own death board. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna show us that move right now and I can't wait. What, what did you call it? It's a, I call it the clothespin. The clothespin. Oh, now double, you're double dead. You're double dead. The two, you, things, yeah. <laughs> the two yeah. things people hate the most out there in the, uh, in the online warrior world is naming a move and saying you invented it. Well, you got both right yeah. here, and if you got something to say about it, come on down to Ultimate Combat Training or, or Center. Need, where, so, here's, 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 <laughs> where, yeah. here's, where, here's where it came up. I'll, I'll just say, I worked with Mark Schultz, and we were back in uh, 1993, both training with Pedro Sauer, and we started doing wrestling, and he invented a guard pass. Or I shouldn't say invented. He started doing this guard pass that neither of us had seen before, and um, I was doing it and he was doing it and our leg kept getting stuck and we started thinking, hey, we can work with this leg getting stuck. And so I probably stumbled on it like you, but nonetheless, I've, I've still to this day, kind of like you, you hadn't seen the other move until now, I, I haven't seen anybody do it. All right, well, let's check me. it out, so, man. Let's see the clothespin. Where do I go? All right, on your back. So, and uh, we started doing this back in, in 93. So if you have footage before 1993, I would like to see that. and. Jeff Coons and other black belts can back me up that none of us have seen it. But nonetheless, so I'm right here. One of the pet peeves that I see um, wrestlers really have with a, a guard jiu-jitsu guy is a guy that just keeps a closed guard. He's not really attacking or doing much. He's tying me up when I try to throw punches and I'm just stuck here and I, I can't get out. Which I, it always annoys a, a, me, a good jiu-jitsu player, to see a guy just kind of sit there stagnant. And that is my game to a T, so this is perfect. So what I like to do is I would recommend doing this move when you got a guy that won't open his guard. Okay? Man, this couldn't this couldn't be more appropriate. There you go. So I like to come right here with the with the hips, and whether I come up one at a time or whether I like to kind of box jump right here. Now what I do is almost a small version of a cartwheel. I put my knee down oh, and I put this over and come like this. Okay? Now that I have him here, notice I'm almost in an omo type situation. This comes over right there. <laughs> That's the sub, right there. <laughs> All right. Wow, okay. Yeah. Now, I'm going to show you a little Now, you thing. stepped over, and I was about to say, no way, man. I have definitely seen guys do leg locks from there, but never, never that one. Okay. I'll give you that for sure. So, I, um, a lot of you guys that have done catch or seen old pro wrestling are familiar with a Boston Crab. So, I come over, and if I was facing that way, what I would term a half Boston. And I, I, I hate when people name moves too, but the sad part about jiu-jitsu, with judo, everything's named. In jiu-jitsu, there's constantly people calling it new things, so what are we to do, right? I just do it to keep it straight. But I come here. Yamasaki loves the names anyway, so that works <laughs> okay. out good too. I, I generally will box jump. Box jump up, okay? Now, I don't have to put this down. I could just whirl over, but I like it because of what it does to his hips. Now, I, this comes right here, boom, I could face this way. And this is probably, Brian, what you've seen before, right? Leg locks, heels, and stuff from yes, here. Yes, sir. But instead, what that's I do that's, is come here. Ah! That's Brandon. Yeah. I come right here, and now this is going to come over. Ah! Oh. Oh, I like it, though, because look where the heel is. Look where the heel is. I got heels. I got inverted toe holds. Or I can just chuck it and take the pass, which when I used to uh, train with Mark Schultz, who I'd like to get it on video, obliterated me every time. I'm not saying I'm Mark Schultz. But he, a lot of times, would just do this as a pass. And he would just boom, and he'd wind up on the side. Well, when I would go against other people, I started getting their legs stuck. And then I realized, hey, stuck things can hurt. Let's, let's, <laughs> so one more time, let's slow step, motion. Let's step over to a hole. 
<laughs> step over. <laughs> and there's a little variation on the end of it that you can do that I just want to show, okay? So I box, knee down, palm here, boom. That right there is what breaks. Now this right here is shifting, and notice I'm aiming into him, okay? Now right now, this is tucked, and this is here. A lot of guys, when I come here, won't tap. So if you got a really wiry guy, here's what I do, for those of you guys who are really limber. I shift, and I come in here with the shin down. This is right in here, and now I come in straight. And I, ha I have seen um, Sensei Paulson do this variation. I'm sure he learned it from you. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, Eric, uh, you're far superior to me. But that shift, I really, I really like. And a lot of guys in that initial uh, movement are limber. Everybody's got different points where they kind of have a little X-Men feature. Clearly, I have no X-Men yeah. feature for any of that because I felt like my quad and, uh, was about to tear in half and my knee was going to implode. I'm, I'm sure it was invented elsewhere, but I had never seen it. And we named it so we'd know what each other was talking about. And I tell you what. When a guy will not, will not open his guard and you're just sitting there on top, it's really frustrating, it's really effective. I, I've seen people undo their guard and move it. I've yet to see somebody keep their guard around a person that knows how to do this. I like it, man. I think it's great. And you know so. what? You're out there. You're putting it on the line. You're teaching. You're yeah. competing. You're doing this stuff. Really appreciate you coming on the show yeah. and sharing that with us. All right, Thanks, man. Dave. Hey, if any of you guys are down at the Pan Ams into March, come say hi. Win, lose, or draw. It's good to be with you guys. So. Thank you. All right. Afraid of going for your takedowns, whether it's a throw or a shot? Fear no more, my friends. Make sure you tune in next week because none other than catch wrestling specialist Billy Robinson is going to teach you how to stand back up from the ground.